Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We'd like to welcome one of Branson's newest entertainers, Elvis tribute artist Matthew Boyce. He has a show at the Americana Theater called Elvis Story of a King. Great to meet Good you. Good morning. Pleasure to be here, absolutely. He just said it's early. Yes, it, it is. Yeah, Thank you for coming. <laughs> well, uh, CJ Newsom was on our show uh, a couple weeks back, and she was just singing your praises. She showed me your video, and I was like, man, he's got a great voice. Yeah. Thank you. A great voice. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, this is my 15th year doing Elvis professionally, but I was a kid, you know, dancing in the living room, doing Elvis, watching the movies, singing things since I was about two, three years old. Whenever I can talk, I wanted to sing Elvis. And uh, just started from there doing local talent contests and traveling and got my first touring gig at 17, and I've been doing it pretty hardcore ever since then. So we can thank your mom for that. She was an Elvis fan. You know, actually, no, my parents weren't really music people. My grandma and aunt were. Oh, uh, gotcha. They were huge. And I'd go to their house and that's all we would watch was Elvis. And I'd listen to it all the time and I got hooked. Bit by the bug early, I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you're from New York. Yeah. What up, part of New York? Upstate, okay. the good part. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> so Saratoga Springs and uh, it was a tourist town kind of up there too. So coming to Branson, I really felt at home. Mm -hmm. and uh, really fit right in down here. I love the Ozarks, grew up at the base of the Adirondack Mountains, so being out in the Ozarks is just, reminds me a lot of being home. So, so you're tr you've been traveling, but now you have kind of a home yeah. for a little while in Branson. Yeah, I'm at the Americana Theater seven days a week. We do Elvis three of those days, but then also uh, I'm in the British Invasion show down there and the awesome 80s show, and I produce some stuff with Chris over at the Americana. So we're working all, all year long to make sure we bring the best entertainment possible to Branson. That's fantastic. That is so great. So, I, you know, before we get more into to your show, I think the viewers would like to hear you sing a little song, maybe. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Do a little Elvis. By the way, have you seen the new Elvis movie? I did. I did. What'd you think? Oh, yeah. So I really, I really liked it. I've been waiting my whole life for something like this, you know. But this is the best superhero movie I could have asked for this year, you know, because I've wanted to see my hero on the big screen for a long time. So That's awesome. It's been a really cool, really cool thing. We to look see forward it. to seeing it. We hear it's really good. Yeah. You guys will like it. It's really cool. It's really a different lens on the take of, you know, the, the biopic movie mm -hmm. that you've Perfect. seen recently. All right. So. All right, well, take it away. We'll hear a song. Absolutely. Voice. All right. Well, that's all right, mama. That's all right for you. That's all right, mama. This any way you do. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right now, Mama. Any way you do. Well, Mama, she don't told me. Papa don't told me too. Saw that guy you're fooling with. She ain't no good for you. Well, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right now, Mama. Any way you do. I got it. That's all right. That's all right, I'm on the anyway you do. Oh! All right. Fantastic. Is that, is that a favorite song of yours? Do you like that one? You know, it's one of the songs we uh, showcase in our show. It's one of the first songs he recorded, uh, and it was the, ultimately the biggest song that brought him to the, the limelight in 1954. So. That's a little bit of a snippet of something you might see live on stage in the show down there, and in the movie as well, featured both. Oh. And so, so what is your favorite thing to do? What, what is your favorite thing you know, to do? You know, I was uh, I, I was a kid in a jumpsuit from being a little kid, and I was fascinated by his jumpsuits and, you know, the, the karate and the movements and the choreography. And so for me, replicating his Vegas residency and Aloha from Hawaii and the Eagle jumpsuit to me has been my... Uh, that's the ultimate. The Elvis. ultimate for me. I love. I love watching that. I love replicating that stuff. I was, but for being a young guy, you know, I <laughs> being magnetized towards yeah. that stuff is kind of funny. But no, it's been my favorite stuff to do. That's that fantastic. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you did send us some great photos and videos. That I hope we can take now. Tell us about the show. Yeah. So Elvis Story of a King is currently one of the only shows in the world to be telling a full career retrograde uh, about Elvis's life. We start all the way in his humble roots in gospel in the early 50s, growing up in the churches and listening to gospel, performing gospel, and then going all the way through Aloha from Hawaii in 1973. We talk about his movies, his army, the TV appearances, of course, the 68 comeback and the black leather. I love mm. that one. Uh, we, we hit everything, his Vegas residency in 1970. We try to hit all the biggest highlights we can from 
54 all the way through 73 of what we thought were, you know, his biggest hits, his biggest songs, some cool, uh, you know, outfits and yeah. choreography and things like that. We want to show the magnetism of, there's a clip from Jailhouse Rock there, just show all the, the magnitude of what he would produce on stage, on screen, you know, his personal life. You see a lot of everything, and we, it's narrated oh, through the lens of Elvis' mother know. as well, yeah. so it's really get an inside scoop on a lot of, you know, how his, his family felt about his life and his career and how Elvis really felt about it. But as you can see, we have live band, we have our singers and dancers, and it really is a show like no other right now in town so that is beautiful that that jumpsuit those you have to have those special made yeah and uh, all our suits in the show are made by b and k enterprises which actually just did all of the jumpsuits for the new elvis movie as well oh wow, wow. So, yeah. it takes a while to get one of those done doesn't yeah, it? yeah it does but for the show we uh, chris and cj have been fantastic we put together a, a beautiful show they worked really hard on getting some of the best looking stuff for the show and i was going to ask to borrow one but i guess the answer is no <laughs> you can okay. borrow mine jeremy <laughs> I was like, I want to wear that so bad. I've been to Graceland, and you know they have it on display, yeah. and I was yeah. like, that's so iconic. Yeah, yeah. It's it's an honor to step on stage every single day. You know, like I said, paying tribute to my hero. You know, yeah. And after seeing the movie, doing the show yesterday, it just comes full circle because now we had we had two separate families to come up afterwards with young kids that said, you know, thank you for making our kids Elvis fans and showing oh, wow. it. So it's really, I think that's what the movie is going to do. I think the movie is going to do that. I think the shows and brands going to do that. Between you know, there's myself and Dean's out there, and Jerry Presley and Legend. Yeah. We want to get more families and kids involved because the, Elv the Elvis music is finally coming back to life right now, and yeah. we want to keep that legacy going as long as we can. So. Matthew, what days are you there as Elvis? Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 2 o'clock. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, 2 o'clock at the yeah. Americana Theater. And they do have great shows there. Yeah. I mean, our friend CJ is there and um, Terry Wynn Sanders. Yes, sorry. Yes. Yeah, I no, mean, no. It's such great entertainment yeah, no, at the Americana. And you can check out our newest Branson celebrity. Thank you for coming by today. Thank you so Thank much, you so guys. Much I really and have, appreciate have a great season. It. Oh, we're looking forward to it. We're here all year through December, so we're going to be rocking hard all year long. If you want to come back at Christmas, we'd love to sing Blue Christmas with you. Oh, yeah. Yes. I love that song. No, yes. that'd be good. We'll be your backups. And, and that'll be in the show at Christmas time, too. So okay. Perfect, perfect time. To, to come back and do it. Thanks, man. Thank you. We'll be back. Thank you guys. All right, after that. See, we can be. Ooh, 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 ooh.